Hey, Chat Chat. Hey, what are you reading? Hey, bet you can't fill it out. It's so useless. Can you actually do something? It's just a waste of space, aren't you? In a recent research done by Kursus Asuran Permata, people were asked what were their thoughts when the terms disability is prompted. The three themes that emerged were a sense of pity, sympathy, a notion of help both in terms of people with disabilities needing it and them wanting to help. 58.4% of respondents admitted to being uninformed about the differently able community. Both community members and service providers tend to define a person with a disability as being not normal, limited or less than normal people. The concept of a normal child those in good health and without a disability perspectuated the notion that those with disabilities were somehow abnormal. The majority of study participants were likely to identify children and people with disabilities in terms of their limitations with reference to their functionality and ability to complete routine tasks. Hey, my name is Bernard. I'm 22 years old. I'm also studying right now in Segi University, doing my Bachelor's of Business Management, and I am the founder of Dawn Management. It all goes back to when I was a child. I was always drawn towards fashion, and I was never afraid of standing out, but I do notice that other people with my condition was afraid of their appearance and how they look like. So um, this made me feel like I had to do something to empower them. So I guess when I, I had the chance of forming Dawn Management, I thought about all these people and I thought we should do a the modeling agency where we could include them and you know just change the whole game. So yeah, that's how I managed to form Dawn Management. So I was born with spinal muscular atrophy type 3. So spinal muscular atrophy is a condition where it affects your muscle movement. So the nerves are not sending signals to the muscle, so the muscle gradually weakens over time. Yeah, so I used to be walking and then gradually I started using wheelchair. Hi, my name is Brenda Bernadette. I'm 23 years old and I'm the co-founder of Don Management. I actually started this company with my brother. He is the founder of Don Management. So what made me want to start this is because of my brother. I just wanted to be his support. When we first started, when we wanted to look for clients to work with our models, it was difficult getting them to understand our concept and understand what we are doing. But I guess we kept on pushing forward. And every time we, we did a shoot with a, with a fashion brand, we would explain it later on on social media why it's important to uh, have a representation of different able people. So I think that's how we overcome it. Yes. I was actually very blessed because when I first started on management, I was I also had help from this NGO called 
Malaysian Wire Disorder Society, MRDS. So uh, they supported me a lot to kickstart joint management and the friends I met there with different rare disorders, they were the first models that joined joint management. So from there onwards, we just got referrals from friends of friends and eventually uh, people started to know us and then now we have models from everywhere approaching us. They first, if they come to know about us in joint management, uh, we would ask, we would give them an application letter, and they would send in their application letter with along with some pictures. And if we decide, the board members decide to choose them to into joint management, we would do a small mini photo shoot to get their portfolios done and everything. So we would, in that process, we would teach them how to pose and everything. And some models do come in with experience. So we didn't have to do like much training about it. So that's our mini training and then after that they're good to go with our clients to work with. My name is Jensen, John William. You can call me as Jensen. I'm 31 years old. I'm a paraplegic uh, disabilities. I'm working okay in TM, Telecom Malaysia's customer service for live chat department. How do I become a model? I know one of my very good friends, her name is Jacinda, so I got, I got to know from her and she asked me to have a try. I sent a letter, I mean I sent an email to door management and they gave a good result on that. So, I am a paraplegic. Uh, my condition name is spinal cord injury. I had spinal cord injury four years ago and I work as an account executive at QI Services. I'm also a freelance uh, makeup artist as well and also a model under Dawn Management. The reason why I wanted to be a model is because I I hated the stigma towards the differently able when I first had my injury. So I wanted to change that stigma and I felt like a better way of you of bringing up your independence is through the media. So I thought by modeling it can reach more or more people and it can inspire more people. So that was why the reason I thought you know being a model would really help with my goal. When it comes to discrimination, I see it as uh, I've not been openly discriminated verbally, but I I I feel like I've been discriminated in accessibility to to buildings. Like for example, uh, I want to watch a movie in the cinema. They put a disabled sign. But there was there's no pathway for a different for a person on a wheelchair, or if there was a parking space, the parking space is too small for a person to bring down their wheelchair. So I felt discrimination in that way. And also there was this one time I applied for a job, and my qualification fit into the job description. But because that office doesn't have a lift, there's always there's only an escalator, and there was no a differently able toilet. Was not hired, so and that was also one of the discrimination that I faced. So. Assalamualaikum, nama saya Hanta dan saya mengalami kecacatan lumpuh pada bahagian peha ke bawah, spinal cord injury lah. Okay, saya nak tunjukkan pada orang yang OKU ini boleh berjaya, boleh bergaya dan lagi pun tak ada OKU yang boleh jadi model kan di Malaysia ni, so kita mulakan lah. Harapan saya pada masyarakat OKU Malaysia ni Cuba bergaul dengan orang dan mencuburi Bidang sukan ke, pekerjaan ke sebab macam-macam ada kan So, tak boleh malu lah untuk keluar Tunjuk pada masyarakat Hi everyone, my name is Benjamin Tong. I'm a catwalk guru of Malaysia and thank you for having me in your documentary. Okay, to be very honest with you, right, every designer or client, they will look for a perfect model to, to do a photo shoot for them or to even walk on the runway for them. Because at, at the end of the day, they want business. So they want someone to look good, to sell their products to all the audience, to all the buyers, right? But then now, of course, like what I said just now, the world has changed that, you know, um, we, don't, we don't be stereotyped to look for tall, skinny, good-looking models. But at the end of the day, I really hope that even for dawn management, even you have a disabled models or unique models, I will put it, but then you need to be well trained. 
right? Because at the end of the day, when you are uh, being on the runway or maybe doing a photo shoot for your client, for a designer, you need to look good. You need to be good. You need to know what you are doing because at the end of the day, when a designer or client, they hire you, they want you to sell the products. If you are on a wheelchair, you must know how to perform as a model on a wheelchair. Congratulations for doing this. This is something really good for you to do to the community. Okay, I, I believe everyone loves to be a model. Everyone wants to be on stage. Everyone loves the spotlight, right? So it's very good for you to do this. Uh, number two, I hope that you train them well. I really hope that Dawn Management can uh, bring more awareness to more people in the whole Malaysia. Uh, of course, we start with Malaysia first to, to tell everyone that what is Dawn Management doing and to educate everyone that, you know, um, sh uh, show, selling your product Either you are selling clothes or maybe a handphone or mobile phones. It's not that you must use a model which is stereotyped by everyone, but use models which is unique and whatever that you are selling on your website. Hi, my name is Rihanna. I'm 18. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer at Dawn Management. So I began modeling when I was around 15 or 16. Um, I enrolled into Runway Productions. I wanted to work at Dawn Management because um, it started off with my sister, um, she has cerebral palsy and um, we wanted to find a modelling agency for her because for me modelling actually boosts self-confidence. So we were looking around for modelling agencies and, we, and I came across Dawn Management. So I found this agency really unique because it's an agency specially for um, differently able people. So when we enrolled my sister into this agency, we saw that um, over time, her confidence level actually boosted up. So I wanted to be part of that process of actually helping other people being empowered and you know, helping to build their self-confidence as well. So I think representation in the media for the differently able community is really important because I feel like representation in general is important. Like you want to see something that you can relate to. Especially if you know you're darker skinned, you want to see somebody that looks like you. So it's the same with the disabled community or the differently able community. They want to be able to relate to someone in the media. They want to know that there are people like them as well. So when you don't portray them in the media, they are not going to be able to feel like they're welcome or like they, they're, there's somebody out there like them. So that's why I think it's really important for, for them to have someone to look up to, for them to know that that this is, they're welcome, you know, in the community. Malaysian Fashion Week and Cal Fashion Week, uh, participating in it was uh, mind-blowing because we had our first, our models were the first wheelchair models to go down the runway and also working with Uniqlo, that was also a big achievement for us. I had it since birth. The biggest challenge I faced so far is to move and to make friends. People look at me differently. The best thing that happened to me is that I have the opportunity to model. You're not alone because there's other people like you. Do not hide yourself. Okay, so Dawn Management is a modeling agency that is mm -hmm. exclusively for disabled people. Okay. So what are your thoughts about that? Uh, I think it's a very good uh, idea. I think it's good that they're given a chance to do something like that. And uh, based on um, they're getting to show their abilities like that, it's, it's a good thing. I would say that uh, it is quite interesting because normally we see only normal people 
like their opinion towards disabled people is like they are not that they are lack of something, they are disabled, they can't do this, can't do that, but actually they are just like us. There's a lot of like disabled people. They could find their way to earn money and then like show the true beauty of themselves. I think it's fantastic uh, because uh, I've not seen any uh, disabled models in the last five years. They are slowly emerging, so I think it's a fantastic uh, opportunity for those who can't really model um, you know, or, or choose the career, but I think it gives them hope. So it's, it's definitely something that is amazing. I really hope the differently able community or the differently able people these days can come out of their shell and to know that they are accepted by the society because I know like a lot of them are still hiding and because they're scared of the society that is out there. But there's a lot of opportunities if we step out of our shell and step out of our home at least to come out and join everyone. I think that the government is doing good, but I feel like they can do a lot better. But I think that they're growing, like slowly um, over time they may be able to like um, improve in certain aspects like I see like they're doing the MRT making it more accessible as well as the buses some of them are accessible as well but um, in terms of like schools and I think schools is one of the most um, difficult things for um, people with disabilities because everybody with disabilities they go through things differently so you cannot just classify them into one group um, like for my sister um, when she was enrolled into the government school she, um, she, she, mentally she's fine, but um, the only problem with her is her movement and her speed of writing. So when they, when they classify all the disabled um, or differently able people into one classroom, um, it actually may hinder some, some of their learning processes because everybody learns at different speeds. So I think that the government might need to look into the education system for um, differently able people because um, like a normal child, everybody has different learning speeds. So that applies to differently able people as well. My hopes for the future of Dawn Management is that we can be recognized as one of the, the good agencies. Like you've heard of like um, all the big agencies in Malaysia, I hope that we can be on the same level as them because I think we definitely do have the things that we need to make a good agency. So that's why I feel like my hope is that we are on that level and people recognize us for the things that we do. My hopes for the future for Dawn Management would be to be the number one talent modeling agency for different labor models. We hope to be the one where we can work with all the high fashion clients and do the bigger, biggest runway shows. And we also hope to be an agency where we build and empower people. And yeah, that's the most right.